Good morning. Hey, it's Carrie from down in Texas on this Thursday. What a week I have had. Oh, Lord. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday, and I hope your week is starting out good this last week of the of 2023, and oh, my stars, am I glad to see that this year is coming to a close. It has probably been the most challenging year and a half of my prof my professional and my personal life. I've had so many traumatic things happen personally and my business has just taken, most like so many others from our economy, it is just, I have struggled and I am very tired. And so I'm coming in today to talk to you and see how you are doing. Grab your coffee, grab your snack, grab your tools, and let's get started. Oh goodness, I was going to start um, yesterday, and then I had an emergency, and I had to leave yesterday, and could not get um, my video done for yesterday. But I'm back today, and Hopefully today is going to be a much calmer day, I sure hope. So I'm starting with a new eyebrow system. You know, I've had so many people reach out to me and say, you know, you really should try these new systems that are out there. They're really easy to do. And so I thought, well, I'll try. I had a coupon. And so I am trying this new product i got it um, with a coupon from macy's as a new client and it is a benefit product i love their mascara so much that i went and did some research and i'm using their brow system so they have a brow pencil which is a really nice pencil very fine very very fine tip pencil nice color then they have a brow um, like a mascara, so you, you start with your lashes and you sort of define them, you know, where you have any sort of empty spots, and then you come along with your, um, what I call brow mascara, and you then put your brow mascara on, and then you finish with this incredible wax, um, and I have to say, I'm I'm really stunned at how easy this was. I thought it was going to be complicated, and you know how I am with my brows. I just struggle with them, and I must say, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised how easy this was and how nice and natural they look. So I listened, everyone. Um, <clears throat> as I've said to you, this channel and this community is all about helping each other to explore new products and new new ways of doing things, and so I did, and I'm very, very pleased that I did that. So, we're going to start now with my e.l.f. moisturizer and um, primer, 24-hour moisturizing primer, which I, I just I do very much love this product, <coughs> and just have to be careful today as I'm doing this to not hit my brows, right, because we just did those. So putting that on, and then I am coming in with the next step, which is my cover girl. This is a color corrector, a primer, and a moisturizer. And I use this because I do have some um, pink tendencies in my skin. And so what I'm doing here with this is I'm trying to neutralize that, those pinkish ready undertones that I get in my skin. And we'll just get that all on. I'm also using a new lip product. And I must say, since I've started it, that I am really, really enjoying it. I've only been using it a couple of days. And it is a lip gloss and a moisturizer. And it is a Christian Dior product. 
I, I got it at the same time as my Benefit Brow product because I did have a coupon and been doing lots of watching of these two products and I must say this this is a very very nice moisturizer gloss mm. Christian Dior it's very very nice it has a very very good formula it's very soft and supple and silky on your lips and it definitely helps to moisturize your lips so if you are like me and you struggle in that area where you need some moisture on your lips that one is a really nice new product that I have just started to use all right let's go in with now my beautiful foundation that I am just I just adore this foundation it just is first of all you hardly need any of this as you can see, tiny little drops, and it gives me this unbelievable change in my skin where I get this beautiful leveling uh, out of my skin. It makes my skin look uniform. Uh, it makes my skin feel phenomenal. That's the first thing that I want to tell you is that it has such a beautiful, silky formula that just makes my skin feel youthful, supple, and beautiful. And it just gives me this unbelievably beautiful coverage. And it feels like air. Now, just look how beautiful that is. It, it just levels my skin out and it makes it look uniform and it feels just beautiful. If, and it lasts all day, 12, 14 hours for sure. Yesterday I put it on at about seven <clears throat> and had to rush out of here and I did not get home and get back and get myself and get my makeup off until at least 11 so it was a long all day for me and it just it held up just amazingly I'm just it's truly an amazing product and let me just make sure I have can't quite tell if my eyebrows look similar in color, so I'll get finished and then we'll take a look. All right, today I'm going to do because I'm just here today. I'm not going anywhere today, I don't think. <laughs> I hope not. I am just using my trusty Revlon Color Stay finishing powder to seal all of this up. You know what? And I, I haven't even needed um, concealer the last few days because I really have been resting. And as you can see, I just have a little bit of discoloration under my eyes. And I know that this is this foundation that is giving me this unbelievably youthful, beautiful look to my skin. And, you know, so... If you don't need it, don't wear it. It's kind of my feeling. But, again, that's your call. <coughs> Alright, so we've got that on. I'm going to get just a little bit more. Just since I don't have any concealer on today, I'm just going to put a little bit more here. seal those up too. All right. I think this one is a little lighter. I need to think put a little more on this one. Looks 
it's just a little, um, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to do just darken that up a little bit with this brown mascara. Just to put a little bit more color in his hairs. Just to make them all look even since I just put on my finishing powder. Love this product, guys. Thank you so much for encouraging me to try something new. I am very set in my ways, and I appreciate the fact that you encouraged me to get out there and try something new. So thank you for that. <clears throat> All right, today I'm going to be using my um, Sheen Dye Catlu. <laughs> can never say this. D-I-K-A-L-U. It is a beautiful palette. Uh, it's pink and, and it's got some pretty shimmers. It's just a really pretty soft palette. And so we're going to start with this today. We're going to go into the middle section of the palette and gonna pick up this pink right here. And we're going to pull it up all over the lid and then up into this transition area up here. Do the same over here. And that's pretty nice and soft pink there. <laughs> now we're going to pick up the, the color next to it. I'll show you here in just a second the colors that I'm using. We're going to fill in the lid a little lighter. Mix those two together. Just get a bit of a light shadow here and up here and up here under the brow. <coughs> So the first color I used was this one right here. And then I used this one. And now I'm going to use the shimmer underneath to add some color to underneath my eye. And this is definitely a sparkly type. not working real well. So I think we'll dip into the other one just to give a little bit of color underneath and to define the shape of my eye. Just ever so lightly, I'm not using hardly any. As you can see, I'm just using a really light touch today. Doing the same up here in the corner, just to give some definition and shape. make sure we don't have any fallout. So we're going to pick up the powder puff again. Okay, just come back underneath here. We're going to sweep away any of that fallout. I don't see a whole lot, so that's really good. <coughs> then we are going to use our... I forgot my brushes here. Hold on one sec. <coughs> Milani contouring powder. Contour our face here and get some definition in our cheek area. And this thing just will not open on its own. It's the strangest thing I have ever experienced. I've never had a compact like this. It just won't open. <laughs> it's the strangest thing. All right. 
So let's come up into the temple and right here on the bone. And what we're doing is we're just creating a little bit of a shadow, a definition from here. So you can see a difference from here to here. Same over on this side. Go up into your temple. Just a little. I mean, it's very subtle, but you can definitely see it. When you look straight on, see, you can see here and here that there's definitely a difference between these two sections of my face, right? Then you're going to come down and you're going to do under your chin. And you're just accentuating this natural shadow that falls from the light on your face. But this, that's what this is. I'm not a huge believer in this really dark contouring. I don't think that looks... I don't think it looks natural. I think it looks kind of forced. And I am just not one that does a lot of that. I want my makeup, you know, unless it's a really big event and I'm, you know, doing full, full glam, but um, just on a daily basis, that's just not something that I personally find that I need or that is attractive for me. Obviously, if you do, by all means, do what makes you feel the best. Plain and simple. All right. <coughs> blush today we're going to use my flower nose blush it's a little bit darker and so i wanted a little bit darker blush today and we're going to put it right here on the balls of our cheek get some color in our face on my nose down on my chin just in my forehead just a little just a little kiss of color. Alrighty, now I've curled my lashes. Now, before I put my mascara on, I always go and I use my finishing powder. The reason I do this is I don't want all of that powder material in my um, on my mascara. I want to do that after. And I'm taking my Laura Mercier setting powder pink and we're going to set the face just get it all in set it all get it locked in for the day all right <coughs> Now mascara and lipstick. And today I'm using my House Labs Fuchsia Lip Pencil. And I'm going to go back over it with After it dries a little bit with <coughs> my tart topper. All right, let's get into some mascara. This is my Benefit mascara, which I'm really, really enjoying, and it is really worth the hype. Um, after I started to use this, this is what kind of encouraged me with your pushing um, to try their brow products and I'm just so I'm so pleased that I did that I, you know I'm a creature of habit I don't change things very often um, so for me to change that after so many years using a, a powder product I'm really proud of myself that I took your advice and your comments and tried something and I'm very very pleased with how easy the product was and the results that I got today. Change is not easy for me. <clears throat> and they look really nice, don't they? Those brows look really nice. So I am 
very, very pleased. All right, just getting our mascara on as usual. Let's start down at the bottom, get those bottom roots covered. Lock that curl that you just put in with your curler. So you can keep that curl for the majority of the day. You might have to do it in eight hours or so if you're gonna go back out in the evening, but doing it this way and locking in that curl with your mascara definitely gives you um, a curl that's gonna last. If you really want it to last, there is a trick in the modeling industry where you take a waterproof mascara and you go to the, the root of your lash and you coat it with the, um, the waterproof mascara and then that locks that in for the day and then you can come back um, over the rest of your lash with just a regular product if that's what you want or continue on with your waterproof. I am not a big fan of waterproof mascara just because it's so hard to get off and it can damage your lashes. You can pull lashes out and so I am just not a fan of that at all. Sometimes, however, it is necessary. I think I, I may have used it two or three times at weddings and memorial services, obviously. But just on a day, normal daily basis, it's not a product that I use. It's not my preference. I want a mascara that's just going to come off with warm soap and water or a cleansing product, a wipe, something that doesn't require you tugging and pulling on your lashes. That is definitely something that I will <coughs> stop using a product if that's what I end up needing to do. So, alrighty, let's see how we're doing. Very nice today. We have two working days left of the year, today and tomorrow, and I have a lot to do today. I'm sure you do too, wherever you are finishing up the year. I pray that all of us for 2023 have just, oh, for me, I'm looking for some calmer days, um, not so many difficult things to get through for the year. Um, professionally, I just don't know what the next year is going to bring. I pray that it's a better year for all of us. E economically, it's been a struggle, as we all know. Um, we have a big year this year. We have a lot to decide as a country. Um, we are in a really difficult time in our in our country we're very divided and my prayer next year is that we can all come together and put our country first do what is best for our country and our citizens and that we can all start to have easier financial times um, that's why we do on this channel give you op options that are good products that are less expensive so you don't have to blow your budget. I don't believe makeup should blow your budget. I think there are definitely brands out there that are phenomenal um, formulas and colors and products and I think that um, you can definitely start to build your collection, your makeup collection by using ELF and Milani and um, Maybelline and some of those other less expensive products that are good sound products that have been around for a long time and have a track record. So, um, got a hair right there, there we go. If you have a product that you use that you know has a, a dupe, whether it's a high end or a low end, please send that information to me so we can share it with the community. Um, you know, this, this channel is here to help all of us live our very best life successfully. I am a believer that you are never too young or too old to chase your dreams and your goals. Um, age is just a number. 
And so if we can help each other, share information with each other, to give each other the opportunity to make some changes or add some things to their life that are going to enhance their life and give them a better life on all levels, then that's what this channel, all of my social media is about, helping you live your very best life, be as successful as you can, and to encourage you to remember age is just a number and it doesn't stop you from even if you're 65 70 and you haven't reached a goal even if you're 80 it's just a number it doesn't mean anything it's just a number it tracks the day you were born it doesn't restrict you in any way and it shouldn't so if you have a goal or a dream that you haven't or a, a place you haven't gone and you want to go make a commitment to yourself to go do it in the coming year Let's, let's all decide to commit to ourselves if we have things and goals and dreams that we want to see that next year is the year that we, that we, if we can't get it next year, that we lay the ground, the foundation to be able to get it within the next year to 18 months. And I thank you for joining me on this Thursday before New Year's. Hope you have a wonderful day. Get out there, hit your Grand Slam, whatever it is. Please respond and let me know how you think some of these new products are doing. Do you think they, um, I use them correctly? I'd, I'd love to know that too. I want your feedback, regardless of what that feedback is. Just please remember, I'm going to respect you, so you respect me. Your opinion and my opinion may not necessarily agree with each other, but as long as we respect each other's opinions, that's the most important thing, and that this channel is here to do that. Um, <clears throat> Courteousness, kindness are very important to me, and I would really love it if the comments were all constructive in nature, because nobody likes to feel like they're being attacked at any, at any stage. That's just not something that I want to see or share with my community. Positivity is the most important thing, because what you do is what you do, and I encourage you to keep doing it. What I'm going to do is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to respect you, you respect me, and we will all have a great community here to help each other have our very best life. Live it successfully, because we all deserve to have it all. This is Carrie. It's Thursday. Have a blessed day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hit the bell, if you would, so you know the next time I post a video. And please join our community. I would love to have you as a community member. Just like and subscribe. That's all you have to do. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a blessed Thursday, everyone. Don't forget, hit that grand slam. Get out there and just let it go for today. See you next time.